Hello everybody and welcome back. I would just like to thank you for clicking on this video. As of not long ago, Destiny 2's first faction rally has begun. What is a faction rally and how can you take advantage over it? Let's see. So now all three factions can be found at the new tower. That is, Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, and Future War Cult. You can also find their representatives. They are Arak Jalal, Lakshmi 2, and Executor Hydeo. Once you've updated Destiny 2 with the most recent update, You'll notice that you have a new milestone and that is to speak to each faction representative. Once you've spoken to each one, you can choose which one you would like to pledge your allegiance to. You can only pledge to one faction at a time and this goes per character. Choose wisely because once you pledge your allegiance to a faction, you are allied with them for the rest of the week and until the next weekly reset. So basically the faction rally is a weekly event and whichever faction has the most guardians that have pledged their allegiance to them wins. Every faction will have an exclusive weapon that they are selling that can only be obtained at the end of the week when the faction rally winner is chosen. If the faction you pledge your allegiance to wins, you can purchase the weapon for only 1000 glimmer, but if the faction you chose loses, you can still purchase the weapon but for 50,000 glimmer. This brings me to my next point. Which faction should you choose? It all depends on you. Do you want loot or are you in it to win it? This week, the Future War Cult is selling some awesome weapons, including a hand cannon, sniper rifle, scout rifle, and auto rifle. And if Future War Cult wins, you will be rewarded with a pulse rifle that you are not able to get from the engrams this week. New Monarchy is selling the shotgun, submachine gun, scout, and auto rifle, I believe, but I'm not totally sure. If they win, you are rewarded with a lame sidearm. Dead Orbit is selling the shotgun, hand cannon, pulse rifle, and sidearm, but you can get the hand cannon and sidearm from Cade 6s chest that you can get from buying his treasure maps every week. That is the main reason why I went with Future War Cult. If Dead Orbit wins, you are rewarded with a scout rifle. Also, if you are looking for a very nice armor set and very good looking shaders, you should pledge your allegiance to New Monarchy because I can I previewed their Ingram and the loot that you can get from them is just insane. Who will you pledge your allegiance to? Future War Cult, New Monarchy, or Dead Orbit? They're all great, but I suggest going for Future War Cult or New Monarchy since Future War Cult has amazing weapons this week and New Monarchy has great armor and looks while you can get most of Dead Orbit's weapons by doing something else. Remember, there's always next week. But if you really want Dead Orbit armor, weapons, or you just are in it to win it, or you really want Dead Orbit scout rifle, then I suggest just going for Dead Orbit because I think most people are going to pledge their allegiance to them this week. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow since I'm uploading a video that demonstrates how to easily farm faction tokens in order to get faction engrams super quick. You can easily get 200 plus an hour by doing this. Once again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the very next video.